we are moving on to chapter four and are starting 4-1 classifying angles. So remember to take notes and complete the check it out problem. So we have two learning targets today. The first, I can classify triangles by their angle measures and side lengths, and B, use triangle classification to find angle measures and side lengths. All right, just quick vocabulary. We're, we just have this here in case you want to take notes. Um, we're going to go over this in more detail later. So just to rem remind you, a triangle is a polygon with three sides. And today we're going to learn how to classify triangles by their angle measures or their side lengths. All right, so here's triangle AB. A, B is one side. BC is oops, a second side, and then AC is our third side. So these are the sides of our triangles, just a little review here. And the triangle is named using the three vertices, so ABC. So this is triangle ABC. You could also call it BCA or CAB, but you have to use all three of the vertices. And as it says here, AB and C are the triangles vertices. So to classify triangles by angle measures, we have an acute triangle, meaning there are three acute angles. We have equilangular triangle, where the three angles are all congruent. This angle is congruent to this, to that. And we have a right triangle, means note, that's denoted with the box down to show 90 degree angle. And we have an obtuse angle which has just one obtuse angle, meaning the other two angles are acute. And remember, obtuse means greater than 90 degrees, right is 90, and acute is less than 90 degrees. And greater than zero. Correct. All right, so here's an example classifying triangles by angle measures. First one, classify angle triangle BBC. So BBC, we want to figure out which one that is, B, D, so it's this triangle here. So first you want to make sure you're working with the right triangle. All right, by its angle measures. So this is 100 degrees. That's obtuse. We only need one obtuse angle to make an obtuse triangle. So this is going to be obtuse triangle. All right, classify ABD. So again, what triangle is ABD? A, B, D. It's the little triangle. So, it's actually it's cute. It's cute. <laughs> oh, oh, it is. Oh, it's a little one. <laughs> Sorry about that. I try and uh, prevent Miss Aiken from making those jokes, but she just can't help herself. Okay, so this is 80, and this is 20. And we know a triangle has 180 degrees, so we have... 180 minus 80 minus 20 is going to be leave us with 80 degree for our third angle. None of those are greater than 90. So this actually is an acute triangle. Oh, it is cute. Very acute. Okay, now it's your turn to classify triangle FHG by its angle measures. Bring any questions you have to class and we'll discuss them. All right, we can also classify triangles by side lengths. So we've got three potential types of triangles based on their side length. If we have three congruent sides, like this triangle, it's equilateral, equi meaning equal, and then lateral meaning sides. Whoops, I turned the, it's not very nice. Isosceles triangle has two congruent, at least two congruent sides. So notice it says at least. That means that an equilateral triangle is also considered an isosceles triangle, so keep that in mind. In this case, we've got these two congruent sides, so it's isosceles triangle because of that. And then scalene has no congruent side, so they're all three different lengths. So let's look at, the, if, let's look at this example by the side length. And remember, we've said this in class numerous times. Um, when you look at a figure, we can't assume the segments are congruent unless they're marked congruent. So we have to look for the markings, the little tick marks, um, which tells their angles are congruent or the side lengths are congruent. So here we want to classify triangle EHF by its side lengths. 
So again, let's figure out where that triangle is. We have angle or triangle EHF. And looking at this by its side lengths, we have two sides that are congruent, and that's going to be, what's that be, Miss Frisco? Um, it's got to be isosceles. Excellent, because it has at least two side lengths congruent. So yes, we have an isosceles triangle. Now we want to classify triangle EHG, EHG. Now with this one, we can look at the side lengths. We have one side length of 12, one of 11, and this side length here is going to be 14. So they're none of them are the same, so you're going to have a scaling triangle. All right, so you are going to uh, classify this triangle by its side length. Okay, now we're going to be using the triangle classifications to find the side lengths. In this triangle, we have an isosceles triangle because we have those two sides are congruent. Segment JK is congruent to segment KL. So we can now write an equation and solve for X. Okay, so in an isosceles triangle, we know that JK is equal to KL. So this was our JK equals KL. Solving for X, getting X all by itself, we get X to equal 8.5. Now, we had to find the side lengths. So you have to go back and substitute 8.5 in to our original expressions up there. These two sides are the same length, so 2 times 8.5 plus 6.3 is 23.3 for JK and KL. And JL is 5 times 8.5 plus 2, or 44.5. Very good. All right, you get to try one on your own. Find the side lengths of the equilateral triangle FGH. Okay, in our last example, we have a steel mill produces rope supports by welding pieces of steel beams into equilateral triangles. Each side of the triangle is 18 feet long. How many triangles can be formed from 420 feet of steel beam? Okay, so in this problem, given our triangles are equilateral, that means all three sides are each 18 feet long. So we drew that over here, 18 feet for each of these um, side lengths. So for one triangle, it's going to take 54 feet, because 18 times 3, three sides, it's going to take 54 feet of steel beam. We have 420 feet of steel beam. Divide that by how much it takes for one triangle. We end up with 7 and 7 ninths. Well, we can't have a partial beam, so we can actually end up with seven triangles and all said and done. All right, so you have two check it out examples to try on your own and um, make sure you get your questions ready. Okay, so to summarize this, you want to be walking away from this lesson knowing how to classify triangles by angle measure. So you're looking at this is acute, equal angular. All the angles are the same. Again, you got the prefix equi. Right angle, 90 degrees. Um, or obtuse, it's going to have an angle, so one angle is going to be greater than 90. Um, by side lengths, for side lengths, classifying, you get equal lateral, again, equi, all the same length. Isosceles, at least two. Sides, same length and scaling, all the sides are different. So keep in mind, to be an acute triangle, it has to have all three angles acute. To be obtuse, only one angle is obtuse, because if there are more than one, it'd be over 180 degrees, which is larger than a triangle. And also, you can classify both an angle, a triangle, by the angle measure and by the side length. For instance, a, um, for instance, equilateral and equal angular. Nice. <laughs> okay, so bring any questions you have to class tomorrow or next time we see you, and have a good day. Thanks.